time's come for another squeeze of the ball nuts. Let's ring the DVLA and try and sort out this road tax double dip. Welcome to DVLA. Did you know you can set up a driver and vehicle account where you can view your license and vehicle information all in one place? To find out more, go online to gov.uk and search for driver and vehicle account. To help us direct your call, please choose one of the following three options. If you have a vehicle or trailer inquiry, press 1. If you have a driving inquiry about a non-medical license, press 2. If you're calling about a medical condition or renewing a medical license, please we'll press one. 3. Hi, you are through to DVLA's Vehicles Department. If you would like to speak in Welsh, please say Welsh. Not today. Otherwise, please tell us how we can help you today. Overcharged vehicle tax. Your call is now in a queue for an advisor. Please note all calls are recorded for training and monitoring. I'm purposes. recording too. If you'd like information on how we process your data, your rights, and who to contact, go online to www.gov.uk and search for DVLA's privacy policy. If you would like to take part in DVLA's customer satisfaction no, survey, you. please hold on the line after speaking to an advisor. I'm sorry, but we're extremely busy at present, Again. and the estimated wait time is over 10 minutes before you're able ah, to speak that's to an better. advisor. We'll wait. Did you know you Don't can speak to us on wait. web chat by going online to gov.uk and searching for contact DVLA? If you would like us to hold your place in the queue and call you back when an advisor becomes available, press 1. Or, if you would prefer to remain on the line, please hold to wait for an advisor. We'll wait. Living a dream. Estimated wait time 10 minutes. Still on hold 20 minutes later. Nice. Twenty-five minutes. I've uh, discovered that I've been double charged for vehicle tax, so I'm ringing up to try and get a refund of the double charge sorted. Okay, so how have you double how have you double taxed the vehicle? Have you got two direct debits? Have you paid for the tax twice? How's that happened? Uh, yeah, there's two direct debits. Okay, can we registration number? Uh, yeah, it's. Yeah, the one active um, should be ref. Yeah, so we've got yeah. this one active. That's active, and, and the old so one is. So yeah, there's a more recent one, but that's saying cancelled. So the more recent one should be that first reference. Yeah. So, so what happened here then? Did, did you just set up two direct debits by mistake? No. What happened was um, I had a letter in the post saying uh, action needed to be taken, otherwise your tax would be cancelled. And it said to that I needed to get a new MOT, which I got. Um, then I looked online, uh, you know, where you can go online and say check my tax um, on the gov.gov.uk website. And it said that the tax had been cancelled. So I set up um, a direct debit mandate, which was under the reference... And it wasn't until um, this month that I've noticed that actually you'd been taking payments on the old one as well. Okay, can I have to make a model of the vehicle? Uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, well, it looks like we've got two direct debits. So what I'll have to do, I'll have to raise a case for you to get a refund on one of them. Um, and so so uh, just to add into that, to when I'd detected that that was the old one and you'd been taking double payments on that, I, I stopped that direct debit. Is and, that the one that's cancelled now then, yeah? Yeah, but I had an email this morning, I think it was. I had an email this morning which gave that reference. Just take some details. 
shut off you, and I'll raise this case for you to get your refund then. So yep. it's the last three digits of your phone numbers. Okay. So I'll just raise this case for you now. Um, so you have two direct debits. One needs to be cancelled. Um, and then the time scale is you should receive a refund via a check within six weeks, okay? Right, okay. Alright, so I'll just do that now for you. And then I've got the, the dates that you've taken the payments was the 18th of June, which was £18.43. The 1st of July, 1st of August, yeah. 1st of September was 18.37. When I raise this, what it'll do is it'll just look into the one that's been cancelled and it'll refund that one, all the payments that were, were double taxed, okay? Yeah. Said on that notification of double payment. Much. Yeah, it said notification of double payment, and that gave that number that the first one that I quoted to you as well. It's the it's the one that's active currently. One of them has been cancelled, and that's saying it's been cancelled for being unpaid on the second of September. It does say cancelled by you. The second of and September or the second of October. Yeah. This one here says it went unpaid on the second of September, and it got cancelled on the seventh of October. No, you've definitely taken two payments in September. Um, so all I can say is one of them's cancelled and one of them's active. Yeah. And so the can extra payments that uh, the extra payments that were made will be looked into by the casework team, and they'll refund you any overpayments that you've made. And then the direct debit that's currently active will remain active. Okay. So just to confirm, which one's showing as active on your system? What reference number is it? And that's the active one. Yeah, that's great. That yeah. matches my records. Okay. Yeah, and who was I speaking to again today? No worries. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, that's that job ticked off. 37 minutes it took from start to finish. The chat was pleasant enough. Can't really fault him. Six weeks. Yeah, it's a bit of a long time for the DVLA to have your cash. What do you do about it other than suck it up?